This show is sponsored by MyOliveLeaf.biz, MyOliveLeaf.biz. Ginger Surprise. Please contact Hoshia or visit GingerSurprise.com for details. <laughs> and the Hurricane Report, merchandise and more. Due to some violent content, parental discretion is advised. Everybody, you know, with the protesting and with, with, with everything that's going on, I, I, I'm all about solutions. What, what, in your opinion, what do you feel will be a solution for a lot of the stuff that's going on? Um, <laughs> thank you. You just segued us into our, the reason we got Jonathan here. First of all, <laughs> first of all, you want to really stop all this this bullshit reparations? You owe it to us. You've been you, you owe it, you've owed it for for hundreds of years now. My my trouble is so so the injustice is done. The injustice is done, unfortunately, over a long period of time in many different ways. I'm not sure that the answer can be just cut a check for five hundred thousand dollars. I'm I'm a hundred percent there. Well, that, my point is, there's a way to solve this logically. It's so I'm not against the spirit of it. I just don't think that if all of a sudden you went and you pumped twenty trillion into the country that five years from now we would actually be in the state we want to be in. We'll my my point of a dialogue is, right now, all I've been hearing is it's 530,000, 530 is 20 trillion as, as a nation state, unfortunately. We do that, we'll end up like Argentina was in the 80s. Well, it's true. Okay? But you, you so suck. you're talking about leveling the playing field. It's how we behave together, how we teach but our kids. But you're still 250 years ahead. I can't fix that today. Okay. And if we don't fight for what we deserve right now, we're going to be dead. And you don't get that because you keep talking about if you write the check, it's going to hurt the company, the country. The country hurt us first. You destroyed my family. You killed me. You went after me. You murdered me in the street. You hung me from trees and put it on the, on the back of postcards. Not you, but the people that looked like you that had the power did it. You burned down my communities. You infiltrated it with drugs. And then every single group that did something to empower us, you went in and destroyed it. But yet, it still lives. You owe me. And it's not that I'm not angry. It's not that I'm just angry about one thing. I'm angry about everything. you still killing me in the streets. And you're doing it on camera now. You killed Tamir Rice before the car stopped rolling. He was 12 years old. And nobody went to jail. You shot Mike Brown with his hands up. You choke Eric Garner to death. You kill Trayvon Martin. Trayvon Martin. You, Trayvon. How many? You just killed the boy in, in up in up in Georgia, and they didn't even want to um, go 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 put them them bastards in jail. Breonna Taylor. We just watched them sh come into our house and shoot a one, woman dead. What about the policeman that looked through the window and shot a woman in her own house? Dude, you, you 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 keep telling me all this stuff about the finance. We got to get away from what they're doing to us, and we can't do it. With the way you're talking, but what's going to end up happening is black folk. This anger that you, that you see me speaking with, this passion, is what what the whole country of black men are feeling. Because you're not going to keep killing us, and we keep standing around waiting for you to do what's right. This ain't nothing new, and you and you keep telling me about the finances, dude. We don't give a fuck where you get them from. I don't care if you got to go sell pussy on the corner, but you owe me what you owe me, and that's the way we feel. And the problem is, everybody everybody keep trying to be nice. Nonviolent shit got the people that was nonviolent killed violently. Y'all keep talking about Dr. King. You killed him. You shot him dead. You killed Mega Evers. You really want me to keep going? I can go on and on and on. You've been killing us since forever. This ain't stopped, and it ain't going to stop. And, it, dude, the best place for us to be is away from a lot of this foolishness. But we can't. Oh, why we can't? Because you made it where we couldn't. Because I'm going to tell you right now, you know what they call a black man when, in a Maserati? The same thing they call a black man walking, a nigga. You know what they call a rich black man and they call a poor black man? Nothing, a nigga. Do you know what they call? They called me when I was boxing? Huh? A nigga. You know what they call me now that I train? A nigga. It ain't going to change. So you can look at me one way. And, and see me another way, but I'm always gonna be the same way to the average white man, a nigga. And everybody act like I'm wrong, and I'm not. But when you when you put it all into a in, 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 into a pile, as my mama say, when you heap it all together, you owe me what you owe me. And so black folks start standing up and telling these politicians, I ain't fucking with you. Not till you cut the check. I don't give a damn where you get the money from. You get the money from everything else. Stop. Bring, bring our troops back from these countries. Bring them back. That, 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 that. 
How much that is? So you better stop adding this shit up. Hmm. You got a lot of black men that ain't what we got to lose. You done took everything else. But that's where we're headed. Self-destruction. And this country is going to implode because it did it to itself. You made the bill. You made the tab. But now you don't want to pay it. It's like you're going sitting down in the bar, drinking up all the liquor you want, eating up all the food you want. And then when the bill comes, you know what you say? Well, shit, if I pay that, it's going to bankrupt me. Did you think about that while you was eating? Didn't you know that before you was eating? Didn't you know it before you walked into the building? But they never thought this would happen. They never thought that the black man would ever be free. They never thought the black man would stand up and say, hey, 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 hey. This is what you owe me. But the problem is, you keep getting up, giving me all these excuses to make it sound good. You owe what you owe. Either you pay it. If your debt, if your debt is too big, if your debt is too big, file bankruptcy. That's where I'm at with this place. I don't care how you feel about it. File ba- you, 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 you made money off my back for 400 years. And I'm tired. And that's how most black men feel. And I'm speaking the anger of most black men. I'm tired. We know you got it. Well, they can't keep printing. They should thought about that. They should have. They should have said this. Your first installment, black black man. Um, cut cut the check. I I need what you, you can't give it all to me. You can't give it all to me and go. You better. I take some land. Come on. But, but I need my check. And that's what black folk got to start saying. You know the worst thing you can. And the, and the worst thing you can tell me is that I gotta I gotta think about the country. The country ain't never thought about me. Tell me what law this country ever made to secure me from police brutality. Don't worry, I'll wait. Tell me what law. Tell me what law the country of this country has made to, has written to make sure that my children were safe. I, I'm still waiting. Tell me. Wait, 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 wait. Stop. That's the way women think. Men don't think in terms of anger. Men say, "Okay, that's the way I want to be." Well, there are consequences. Shut up so you don't tip your hand as to what you're going to do, and go do it. And he's a boxer, but, you know, they didn't call Ali that either. But, you know, the bottom line is, is if you know what you do, don't let them call you that. But the deal is, is that's an expression of anger. We're always angry, and then the preachers diffuse the anger any damn way. You get on your knees be praying to Jesus, so then you're not angry anymore because the Lord going to see a way, so you may. Now do something. And the other thing is, half million uh, if you give out 400000 to the 64 million identifiable black folk, at least on the last census 10 years ago, then what happens is that tops out between 14.2 and about, well, 14.3 and about $15.4 trillion. Well, for 2017, the net income of the whole country, gross income for the whole country was $19.2 trillion. The money ain't there. And if they do find a way to come up with it, sell bonds or whatever to finance it, I'm going to hock mine up front, leverage it into the interest in a lot of sports shoe places, and stock up on a lot of Nikes and sell them to the damn fools that are going to rush out to buy. I'm going to set up some exploited businesses so I can take the money that people are going to rush out and spend on their COVID, not COVID, on their reparations checks and the bottom line is is there's still no addressment of attitude modifications restoration of the black family getting education for the children while they're still in kindergarten through 12th grade going back to school when you got the time and furthering your education getting into science technology engineering and math stop buying so damn much bling and not bang not having any guns, not having any ammunition, not having any damn skills, loud mouth, overly uh, resortful to show rather than go. When we start getting it together, we're not going to have to go begging and asking anybody for any damn thing. We'll be able to take it. And it just sickens me that we always talk about what we owe and nobody will give it to us. I don't want anybody to give me a damn thing. Just get the hell out of my way when I take it. 
And if you want to set up a separate back entity, which is another fantasy, then somebody like me, if not me, and I'm not too damn old, I'm going to take it over, run it as a dictator, and put a whole lot of people on the goddamn wall and have them, you know, taste some lead. That's coated lead or jacketed. And get rid of pimps, hoes, drug dealers, thieves, rapists, pedophiles, and take the children from all of them that got 11, 12 di uh, different babies by nine different baby daddies and raise them and put them to work. Now, that's what somebody like me is going to do if you do have a separate company, country. You won't have a damn army. You want to get rid of the Constitution. So what the hell are you going to do? You know, I mean, it, it, these things, see, talk is cheap, but damn it, do something. You know, go out there and get yourself prepared and change your way of looking at things. Hey, Judge. Excuse me, Judge. Excuse me, Mr. Brown and, and um, Valerie. I don't, mean to, I don't mean to intrude on what y'all were saying, but what you said is 100% correct. And, yes, they, they, I ain't going to just say black people, but us as it, it, human beings are looking for a, a, a leader. You know, and it... it and it goes back, let me tell you something. I don't know if everybody on here is atheist or anything of that rather. But I don't consider myself as a religious person, but my father, yes, he was a priest. I was born and raised in the church and all that. But, and um, one thing about it is, and two things for certain, the Bible never lies. The Bible, the Quran, the Hindu, whatever you... You try to go about it, or you, you, if you're a hotel, whatever you try to go about it, it all goes back to the foundation of Jesus Christ. If y'all, if y'all ask me, it, it, I feel like the. It, 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 but this is my perspective. I feel like the devil. He's not on this earth yet. It may seem like it, but he's not on this earth yet. Trust me. When he comes, we will know. He just has his henchmen, his army running about, manipulating the powerful. Because as we all know, where, they, where there's power, evil can conquer, and when there's evil, they can manipulate weak minds. You understand what I'm saying? And okay, but we got, 40, we got 40 minutes, and we got to get to the point. What is the plan? What do you want the listening What's audience? The, what, what are you saying? Have faith? Pray. The the plan the plan the sweetheart I'm I'm gonna be I'm gonna I'm I'm be cut and dry with you. The plan is to me we need to we need to revitalize our minds and go back to the foundation of Jesus Christ and and and, and read the Bible for what it is not for what man has put into the Bible but go by which is the way of Jesus Christ which is love love conquers any evil in any sin in this world. And we must go back to the front, to, to the basics and the foundation to the bricks of this. We can't build it. We can't build a building from the top down. We got to build it from the bottom up. Even if we got to go down to the roots. That's where we got to fix it. We got to get to the roots. Can I stop you for a second? You, you're, you're bringing yes, up yes, old emotions. You're making me feel like I felt when I watched Bossom John's brother hug that white woman. I'm getting so angry because I, I'm the first to, to cry. I love the Lord. I love God. I love God with all, every, every atom, molecule, cell, blah, 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 dot, dot, dot. But, man, this love thing, I'm not understanding it because we love your neighbor. I, I'm, I'm not getting it because these neighbors, they're killers, they're murderers. They don't understand love. They don't even know how to receive it. They are not of love. How, these are demons. And right now. And all the music, Thank they're talking you. about, oh, we are Thank demon you. time. We're on demon time. We're on demon time. You can't love a demon. A demon will kill you. you know, a demon will well, put he, his well, foot see, you on know your what? neck and, Maybe, and listen Maybe, to what? you say, I can't breathe until the life is out of you. So this whole Bossom John Kumbaya, I'm, I'm, you're losing me. I, I don't well, know well see, here's the thing. Here's, here's the thing, because I... I, I I'm with you, Val, but, but maybe... I do love you. I do love you. 
Sorry. Right, but but see, maybe he's coming from a different angle. Maybe he's talking about the Jesus that went up there and started flipping tables over and punching folks in the face. Because see, if maybe he's talking about that Jesus, then we might have some. We might be. We might be making some progress. The the turn of the cheek. Okay. Well, we'll, that, we'll that, that's, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm okay. talking okay. about. Okay. That's exactly what I'm talking about. I got to say something. Uh, Jesus okay. been okay. dead two thousand years. He got executed as a felon. And he played zombie and walked after being dead. Okay, fine. They say he'll save you. I'm not buying that. I do know that Mao Zedong, who led a very successful revolution, wrote at great length about the habit of oppressed people for looking back to something that happened in ancient history as a justification for their condition. It becomes one of the chief methods to keep them oppressed, and they look to their oppression to find the source of their salvation. The only salvation you'll get is what you earn, what you burn, what you take down, what you build up, and what you do for self. Now, Valerie, you you hit me. I, I can't stand this any longer. Every black man that can legally get it, and I'm not going to tell you to do something illegal, but if you can, buy yourself uh, at least a 9 millimeter military-grade pistol, you need to have a carbine 5.56 five, by 45. You need to have yourself an 18-inch barrel 12-gauge shotgun, either a Mossberg 500 or 590 or a Remington 870. You need to get yourself a lot of ammunition. Go practice regularly so you can use the damn thing. Don't read black stuff. You need to read Mao. You need to read Ho Chi Minh. You need to read Fidel Castro. Lenin and all of the revolutionaries that had a successful revolution. They were racist slave owners, but you need to read what those American revolutionaries said about how they managed to get free from the most powerful army in the world outside of Napoleon's legions. Now, read this stuff, and there are some solutions in there. I'm not going to tell you what those things are because it's radio and you don't want to get yourself under 24-7 surveillance in your bathroom to outside taking the trash out. Uh, now, this is yeah, serious but you, business, but you, and you've you, got to have the balls to be willing to die, otherwise you're not worth saving. Yes, why, 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 why do you think he's trying to die? Like I don't he give a damn, that's 2,000 years ago. He died all over but again. But this he is still the foundation, he brother. Oh, look, listen, he listen, listen. Listen, you have to change your. He's you have dead. to. Ch- I understand. Gone, I understand your frustration. I understand your frustration. But this is that bigger. This is I'm bigger than black. Jesus don't do nothing for me. All right. That is but one why of the things that they have to do. But what up. gives you the? What, what, let's listen to me. What, what, what makes I you so angry? I am a black man who has. I'm a black man as well. I but you care. got to change your mentality. I don't give there a damn. There are good you and there are bad that. people yeah, everywhere. You can't make that them that one bad place. apples for the yes. bunch. And what has it ever gotten us? Don't you get the idea that that is the God come on of now. the of Come the on now. You, 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 come on now. Don't you come get on now. that? You avert. That is come on. religion. I understand what you're saying. You. They I put it down on you. Crammed it down your this throat. Is, got you scared to question it because it keeps you think this in is line. Like, if you want to be free, you got to say that is more important to me than any religion, any damn thing else. I, even did, I did not say our religion. See, that's you misconstrued my words. I did yeah, not but say you our religion. You sit there telling me to love. I said I was a spiritual person. I said I was a spiritual person. Love. You're not telling me to go out and die for something. That's what you got to do. Give me liberty or give me death. I regret that I have a I understand that. I understand that. But that's, that, that's, that's you have to work. you have to think deeper than that. Think that as deeper deep as, as you get. Look. As deep as you get. I understand, yeah, but you gotta go think deeper. You gotta think deeper than your own understanding. Look deep. That's his business. It ain't listen, mine. Listen, 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 brother. Listen, it brother. I love you. I love all of y'all. And everybody has a perspective. 
take that stuff I and go get the I fucking listen, chicken listen, like Al Sharpton did listen, to listen, some I, fried damn chicken I, and okay, pass in a collection one, plate. One, one at a time. And some people, 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 they inspire people. Some people know. Al Sharpton and Jackie Jackson and all those people that you're saying. Let me ask you a real question. Let me ask you a real question. Let me ask you a real question. Why do you think Why do you think that Turner got caught? Dedication Why do you think Nat Turner got caught? Because of Al Sharpton's, right? Why do you think Nat Turner got caught from his revolution? Why do you think Nat Turner got caught with your mentality? He was praying too damn he much. Had a he had a revolution. He so why do, you, why do you think he got caught with much. people that have opened their minds? Listen, hey, look, you look, cannot be closed-minded with trying to change. you want to get a model, you cannot be closed-minded with trying to go about change. If you're trying to change, you have to have an open mind and an open heart. Nat Turner didn't succeed. But somebody that did succeed, hear you. somebody that did succeed are the Seminole Indians, half black. They uh -huh. were interbred with runaway slaves. The uh, U.S. War Department, now Defense Department, doesn't say the Seminole Indian Wars. They say the Negro War. So learn what they did. They had a successful standoff. They never conquered them. See, that's who we need to learn from. A lot of us got Native American in there. Why the hell do you think they yelled Geronimo when the 82nd and 101st Airborne were jumping out of planes over Normandy uh, June 6, 1944? Because that's a respect. Why do you think there are Toyotas in your driveway? That's because the Japanese showed them what the devil was going on with Banzai and Kamikaze. I think you got a Mercedes, BMW, or a Volkswagen. That's because those Germans, nobody messed with them. So what the hell did they name after us? Martin Luther King Boulevard. Every damn city's got a Martin Luther King Boulevard or a Booker T. Washington school somewhere in it. So what about all the rest of the black folks? We got to right, do we, something. We got 30, and we got to start we got by 30. imposing manhood back on the black family. We got to start by putting order in our own neighborhood so we don't need the police in there so much. We have to deal with order comes from the men in a community. And we got to have some men in the community who will act like it and put order out there. We got to run these pimps, drug dealers, these pedophiles and all of these fools back to hell where they need to go. We got to take control. We got to stop paying so goddamn much attention to basketball, football, major league baseball, hockey, the Cardassians, the housewives, the, uh, uh, what is it, uh, Pose and Empire and all that garbage. We got to focus and we got to get some education. And when we got a job and somebody's trying to support enterprise, then God damn it, show up and do the job somebody's contracted with you to do. Do a hard job instead of always trying to hustle the people you want to support your business. We can do that when we put our heads to it. If you got a law degree, God damn it, understand that there's also a cause that you're part of. And if you weren't standing on the shoulders for somebody who's better than you to get the chance to make money practicing law, you'd understand you need to give back and start taking some of these cases. There's all kinds of things we need to do. Now, we just got through listening to somebody rant about somebody needs to give us what we're owed. I'm not asking anybody to give me a damn thing, but I look out, I might take it. And if I'm taking it, I ain't going to tell you I'm taking it. Because that'll put you on notice and put you on guard. And I'm not going to make this a fair duel. Radio D -D -D DJ. One Nation, one station. All right, guys. Right now you're listening to the voice of Valerie Denise Jones. I hope and pray that you are having a great day. Please meet me on Instagram, Instagram at Valerie Denise Jones, and also Miss MS Valerie Denise Jones. Before we get this party started, I would like to send out lots of love to everybody in the comment section and big old cyber hugs to those of you who took the time out to support us financially, whether it be by Patreon, Cash App, um, or 
PayPal. Yeah, I think those are the three ways that I provide it. Bernard Johnson, Sherry or Cherie Campbell, C-H-E-R-I Campbell. I'm going to have to spell out quite a few of these names. Derek Muhammad, Emmanuel Washington, Lorna, Florian, F-L-O-R-I-A-N, and also Tarek Jabal, T-A-R-E-K-J-A-B-A-L. I appreciate you so much. And to Tarek, I want to uh, definitely send Deborah Cyber Love to you because you are actually my first Patreon member. So please, guys, please support this channel. Go to patreon.com and show your love and support. Patreon.com slash Valerie Denise Jones because, it, because it's there that I will have full episodes plus a slew of bonus perks. So please make sure you join me there. And for those of you down in the comment section, please make sure that you hit the like button. Hit the like button and also the subscribe button and sign up for the alerts. So I'm going to now fast forward to the end of Friday's live broadcast. Um, big shout out to Nate Campbell, who issued us a pre-record and then the panelists, uh, they responded. Part of the panel included Dr. Inky, Officer Crenshaw, Brother Bernard and his friend. And there was a whole bunch of people who stopped by. So, you know, I did my best to get everybody in, but I can't always. But anyway, guys, here is uh, excerpts from Friday's show. The George Soros uh, IV is going to work. We just got to, you know, get into a situation where, like Judge said, you know, I mean, you, 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 we got to get to a situation where we're getting ready. Anything in life worth having is worth fighting for. And once you get what you fought for, you got to fight to keep it. So I, I tell people that all the time. And I tell people that just on the health tip. I'm like, listen, you, you, your daddy shot you out with 50 million sperm. And you had to beat 49, uh, 49 million other sperm to get to the egg. So why would you get here and then think you on cruise control? <laughs> no, you got to keep fighting all through our life. That's the pattern of life. You started. That's how you got to the egg first. This is going to be total anarchy going on. It's going to be chaotic. Think about this. Why would anybody talk about defunding the police? Also talking about pushing gun control reform at the same time. If you see people buying a lot of guns, that also tells you they know that the time is coming where they may, you may have to defend yourself. And you think about it. The majority of the public does not support defunding the police. Even the racist Joe Biden doesn't even support it. As a matter of fact, he used to back police officers being in black neighborhoods. I just always say, I just rather had an ethnic group that's the most in the environment be represented by the ethnic group they preside over. And then you wouldn't have to worry about all of defunding the police because defunding the police, like I got into action yesterday. If the police... If I didn't have the police come, I wouldn't have been able to relieve. I had a lady hit and run me, and she hit two other cars in the process. I mean, if I didn't get the police, I couldn't have got a police report. I would have just been passed out. So what I mean is, when you start people talking about this far-left ideology, defunding the police, um, this man of the police department, these are some kooks. Most of them probably don't even, are not going to... You couldn't even take this to a, a, a banking cash. It's so... Middle school, it's such a small minority of people doing it. This thing would never even pass the House of Congress. You couldn't get it passed if you tried to. Yeah, that's all yeah, I got to say with that. But I mean, don't, don't, don't take the okey don't take the okey doke all the time with this foolishness because some of this stuff is just, well, just some you're, small you're probably right. right. You're absolutely right. Since you want me to go run this out, look, let me. This is a classic example of a non-thinking, ignorant public. First off, if they defund the police, that does not end law enforcement in the area. That simply means that under the law of that state, the county sheriff for whatever county the Twin Cities happen to be in, that sheriff will be responsible for the law enforcement in the area. The sheriffs are usually elected officials, so that means he will be in a mess trying to fund and budget what he needs to accomplish that. They're already saying that what they're really talking about is not getting rid of the services, just transferring the responsibility to somebody else. In other words, it's some idiot's grandstanding. So it's all about the appearances rather than the reality. So let's, let's get beyond that. 
But what we need to do is understand that nothing comes free. Since we have been on this planet as humans, we have dealt with adversity. The adversity comes in all sorts of forms, from the weather, the environment, the things out there in the environment that want to have you for a midnight snack or for lunch or dinner. People sometimes become the main adversarial factor that other people have to deal with. That is the case. This can be stated very succinctly as to where we are right now. We did not have black people out there rioting. We did not have black people out there looting. We didn't even have black folk out there protesting. We had a bunch of white people, and now they're trying to make it look like it's black. We are all upset about the late Mr. Floyd. I feel bad for him. But I know a lot of people, in fact, I pers- I know personally, and I'm personally acquainted with many, many more people who over the last 55 years have died for doing a lot of outstanding things, much more so than Mr. Floyd did. I hate to say it, but he's what they used to call a sad sack. He was in the wrong place at the wrong time. He's a martyr. But there are many people I know who got murdered who were doing great things for their communities, and nobody's lauding them. I'm looking at an article as we speak. It says, it looks like Black Lives Matter driving the engine for the black protest of Mr. Floyd's death will become the new hashtag Me Too movement. Now, I resent, greatly resent, being compared to hashtag Me Too. But that's the way it's being taken. This is a joke. Um, Now, I think this is a big problem for people because when you start to realize what Black Lives Matter is, and it isn't, you keep on thinking they're talking about you, and I dare anybody to read their manifesto. I was talking to two guys a day telling them that, and they asked me, what rabbit hole was I in? And they told me I'm lost. I said, no, I'm not lost. <laughs> you are lost. <laughs> you know, I was in AutoZone this morning, and a guy was talking, and he just started bringing up the war behind the scenes with Oprah Winfrey and all these people. And he even said to himself, why don't we even listen to Oprah and these clown celebrities anymore? Why don't we kind of like just do research and read, pick up a book or something? How about, um, like, I know there are a lot of people you know, have been trained to hate Donald Trump, but thought about it sometime. Maybe Donald Trump is telling you what you need to hear, not what you want to hear. Could that be why they act this anti-Trump movement is going on? I see black people on my timeline begging to let Antifa out of jail, even though Antifa is funded by George Soros, one of the most diabolical people in the universe. And I don't understand people saying George Soros funds black groups. George Soros funds anything that he wants to fund to fund his agenda. You know, like I said, right, I right, can't right. Wait, wait, speak brother Bernard, too brother much. Bernard, let, let me, let, let me yeah, just go put ahead, a piece brother. in right go there. Ahead, go ahead. Yeah, let me just put a piece in right there because what I was trying to tell people online is so in sync with what you're saying right now. I said, listen, y'all got to understand when you're following the money, right? Following the money doesn't just mean you say, okay, well, um, we 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 see. George Soros started up Black Lives Matter with a hundred million dollar, uh, you know, he, he funded them with a hundred million dollar line of whatever, you know, he put a hundred million into Black Lives Matter. I said, that's not following the money. Following the money means now that you know where the money came from, these are shrewd financial uh, uh, masters. Like these are, these are shrewd businessmen. You don't get the you don't get to have the money George Soros got without being a shrewd businessman. I said, so following the money doesn't stop when you figure out that he's the one behind it. What you need to figure out is what is his off, his expected ROI? What is he looking to get back on his investment? Nobody puts $100 million anywhere 
and they're not looking for a return on their investment. So I said, if y'all think George Soros just threw a hundred million dollars in the air and said, no, 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 go ahead. Uh, you know, go ahead. We're going to fund this transgender, you know, we're going to fund this transgender program. Like I said, y'all are crazy. This has an end game. I said, um, and and it started with you, Judge. I, I ain't going to lie. You, you've been getting me in trouble lately. Because last show we did, you went to the website and you read hey, some Dr. of the mission statements. I would statement. call them strategists. Strategists, not businessmen. They're more serious than that. They're playing, uh, what is it, third and fourth dimension chess? Is that what they call them? I, I, there we go. There we go. I'll say that. I'll buy that for a dollar. They're playing five moves ahead of everybody else. Right, and right, they right. Call. I'll buy that for a dollar, like they said in RoboCop. Um, but but what I, I start asking people, I say, hey, have you read their mission statement on their website? And you wouldn't believe it. It's people out in the street screaming out Black Lives Matter, Black Lives Matter. I asked them if they read the website. They saying, what website? They got a website? <laughs> okay, let me, let me read it. Let me read it. I brought it up. BlackLivesMatter.com. <laughs> Quote, we are guided by the fact that all Black Lives Matter, regardless of actual or perceived sexual identity, gender identity, gender expression, economic status, ability, disability, religious beliefs or disbelief, immigration status or location. Next paragraph. We make space for transgender <laughs> brothers and sisters to participate and lead. Okay, we next paragraph. We are self-reflexive and do the work required to dismantle cisgender privilege and uplift black trans folk especially black trans women who continue to be disproportionately impacted by trans antagonistic violence. We build a space that affirms black women and is free from sexism, misogyny, and environments in which men are centered. We practice empathy. We engage comrades with the intent to learn about and connect with their context. We make our spaces family-friendly and enable parents to fully participate with their children. We dismantle the patriotic practice that requires mother to work double shifts so they can mother in private even as they participate in public justice work. We disrupt the Western prescribed nuclear family structure requirement by supporting each other as extended families and villages that collectively care for one another, especially our children, to the degree that mothers, parents, and children are comfortable. You notice they have mentioned men. We foster, this is the next one, quote, we foster a queer affirming network. When we gather, we do so with the intention of freeing ourselves from the tight grip of heteronormative thinking or rather the belief that all in the world are heterosexual unless he, she, or they disclose otherwise. We cultivate an intergenerational and community network free from ageism. We believe that all people, regardless of age, show up with the capacity to lead and learn. We wish to promote leadership by our transgender brothers and sisters. Okay, et cetera, et cetera, and it goes on. Um, now, that's their mantra. Their, that is, did they start off, Black Lives Matter began as a call to action in response to state-sanctioned violence and anti-black racism. Sounds good, doesn't it? Most people want to see a video they aren't into reading so they don't read past the opening paragraph. Our intention from the very beginning was to connect black people from all over the world who have a shared desire for justice to act together in their communities. The impetus for that commitment was and still is the rampant and deliberate violence inflicted on us by the state. Now, you would think if you read just that, they were talking about black people. But you notice they specifically down men in this thing. But what are we getting out of it? This is a performance thing that's got to deal with where are we going from here? See, this is ridiculous. 
George Soros gave this I, money to these folks. You know where this comes in? See, it. there was a thing I looked at on C-SPAN yesterday. It's live. It is in Parliament in England. This guy says, I say, you know, this thing from the late Mr. Floyd over there out into the States, you know, it is spreading around the world. Perhaps we need to consider hearing from some of the representatives that will tell us what we need to do to avoid this kind of thing occurring over here any more than it needs a car. You know, there are hobbits that have to be broken, but perhaps we need to have a closed session with some of these American representatives of Black Lives Matter so they can tell us what we need to know. You know, you see, that means you get in under Black Lives Matter and you're not pushing any damn black agenda. You're pushing a rainbow agenda. You see, they sit there and they pimp us. They get on Oprah and other stuff and they got this dialogue that they put out like they are speaking for America. They are speaking for black America. And they push you know a dialogue. What? that is behind destruction of our families, corruption of our children, the ruination of black men, the continuation of violence in our communities because there are no men to teach these boys manly deeds, manly ways of conducting themselves, masculinity and their responsibility to be brave, courageous, dependable, reliable, reasonable, rational providers who have duty, honor, obligation, and accountability. See, they want to take all of that out of the picture. And they're getting funded so they can push this poison all over the world. I had an old African friend call me up. I haven't heard from him in years. He said, Joseph, what is going on here? I said, what do you mean? Because black people are trying to push this queer thing on us over here. I said, no, we're not. It is. It's Black Lives Matter. I said, man, you know me. I won't tell you the truth. That ain't us, man. That's a front organization. Oh, a front Oh, I understand now. It is not the real thing. It is a posed thing. I said, that's exactly. See, well, I understand. I understand. I feel better now. See, they're doing this whole mess. But see, Judge, they're taking I, this I money like and sending these clowns over to various places in Africa, down in the Caribbean, and trying to tell them that Black Lives Matter is the thing. You can see it all on TV. All of these black people they've heard of are supporting Black Lives Matter, and then they give them this gay thing. Right. But see, look, That's Judge, right. I feel like so this is where it came in. That ain't speaking for me. What? I feel like it came in with the gay TV shows. See, we yeah. we didn't had we didn't had Empire and Star and all these TV shows that's supposed to be authentic hood experience, you know, the hood story. And at the center of all these quote unquote hood stories is this gay agenda. And so now that we've had these shows hey, running man, for a little while, I feel like it's done. Uh, well, yeah, well, I mean, he, 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 he didn't have you ever read his executive orders? They either dealing with assassinating somebody by a drone. That's why they call him the Drone Ranger. Setting up British Petroleum to get concessions <laughs> because BP is a British corporation. Giving funding opportunities and get free. Out, you know, go get two hundred dollars for pass and go to Goldman Sachs. A pardon for 27 bastards that got indicted for that Gulf rig blowout because they were BP, and his trust fund gets a lot of money from them. They got all of that, and then every other goddamn thing on his executive orders has got to do with advancing the rainbow cause. We didn't get crap out of it. Not crap. And then they want to talk about why should we be, why, uh, and, and then, wait, I won't tell the brother's name because I know his mother, and she's an intelligent woman, got a master's degree. But to get up and start saying, I'm going to register and vote for the first time in my life to turn this punk out of the White House, and you're 50 years old and you've never voted a day in your life, and you're going to tell somebody about politics? Come on now. 
Or hey, you, you when know they did running, Kim they Kardashian run. become a spokesperson for black folk, and they're always trotting her out, calling her <laughs> Martin Luther <laughs> Kim? Got a slut they on the, TV on out there on Al Sharpton program, porn queen talking about black. But yeah, on Al Sharpton program, it was Biden every 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 two minutes. It was a Biden commercial all throughout the middle of Al Sharpton program. Biden, 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 Biden over Biden. Biden and sucking Sharpton. Yeah, Sharpton used to be James Brown's boyfriend. That's how he got started and why he wore that gas hair for so long after the style became something that was thankfully relegated to the early modern history wing of the Smithsonian Institution. Uh, And the fool as a preacher insulted all of the good black preachers by doing this thing where they interviewed him for CNN and he got up there and talked about how much he loved fried chicken. Did you enjoy this audio? We sure hope you did. Today's show is sponsored by My Olive Leaf. Please visit myoliveleaf.biz to shop for olive leaf extracts, which will assist your efforts to transform your life. Detox your body, increase your energy, get restful sleep, and rid your body of antiviral, antibacterial, and antifungal properties. Do not delay. Contact the MOL reps today. Please visit myoliveleaf.biz for their full line of olive leaf extracts and Moringa products. Oh yeah, for those of you who would like a personal consultation, please call the MOL reps at 612-567-3263. Also visit their website and social media pages for the latest on sales, new releases. And- hey, I'm sorry to interrupt your program, but I really have to let you guys know something. One of the problems that we have in the holistic community is that there are too many people uncertified that don't really know exactly what it is that they're doing. In fact, we can take that to the fitness community as well. I am a certified personal trainer. I'm a certified sports nutritionist. I'm a certified master herbalist. I am a certified elite calisthenic specialist, and I am also a naturopathic doctor. My name, for those of you that don't know, is Dr. Inky. And when you come to our website, unitedplatesofamerica.org, Yes, unitedplatesofamerica.org, like the plates you eat on or the plates you put on your your, your, your bench press bar or the, the plates that the, the, the soil where the herbs and the food grow from, the tectonic plates, those kind of plates, unitedplatesofamerica.org. When you come to the website, we also have certification for you in calisthenics. We offer that through the calisthenic king. Of all calisthenic kings, none other than hit. We got hit. Okay? So we're offering that to you guys. We have books for education. We have everything that you guys really need to not only transform your life in terms of your health, but to transform your life in terms of your karma, in terms of your creativity, and in terms of your entrepreneurship, your business, and your fiscal well-being. 